everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here, and it is time for part seven of the Junk Mail Envelope Junk Journal installment. We've worked through uh, April, and now we are on to May, June, and July. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're having a good time putting together your junk mail envelopes into a beautiful junk journal in 2020 reflection so that you can record at least one thought or picture from last year for each month um, in your junk journal that you're upcycling from junk mail envelopes, making something beautiful from things that would be thrown away. So this month will be for May, these pages. And as you remember, I make a tab for the month and I am going to use this paper here. I have two papers that I really liked and a lot of people really liked the birds for the background. And I really feel like the trees also accent it, but um, I do want to use both. So that's for May, and then June will be this cute pink pineapple. And then for July, we'll have a little bit of Independence uh, Celebration Reflection with the Stars and Stripes. So we're gonna set this over here and take some measurement and get ready to glue on May. So I measured my envelopes. You'll wanna measure uh, top to bottom and your width. If you're gonna do a single panel or if you're going to do um, you know, both pages together, for my layout, I'm enjoying doing it this way this time. Sometimes I do just do two panels, but I really like it the way that it um, has the continuity here. So I've measured my papers. I'm gonna put this in the background and then I've already pre-folded where the page will fold with the envelopes and creased that. So I've done that and I'm going to glue this to this side first. Again, pressing it down really well um, you can smooth it out with whatever tools that you have or your hands. And then I'm going to glue it down to this side. I am using the Aline's Tacky Glue. You can get it from the Dollar Tree or any of your favorite um, craft departments or stores. Um, this is the one size that they sell at the Dollar Tree, the three ounce. This one I had on hand is the Turbo Tacky. It is actually a little bit faster drying and a little bit stronger so I'm just going to go ahead and use that and get this moving. Now one thing I am going to do is what I call fussy cut and that is to cut around different images on this bird paper like this flower here and you can see where I cut it out and then I put a little bit of the black dye ink from the ink pad around it. And I'm gonna use that for my May tab and that is gonna go here. So I'm gonna do that, but I really like um, the lace. So I'm gonna put that down first and I've got some right here and it's really pretty and old fashioned looking. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that there to carry that continuity throughout my journal. So I'm just, it's okay if it hangs over a little bit. I'm gonna take my glue, put it down the edge here. And then put my lace on there. And it will start to hold here in just a second, pretty quickly, right. Then I'm gonna take my flower while that's drying. And I've, as you noticed, I'm using my Dymo label maker to make my tab identifiers for my months. So this is my month label. And I just take it off uh, the back, take the backing off so that it's sticky because <laughs> these are pretty sticky and I'm just going to put it on the flower. Let's see, now I want the flower to kind of stick out a little bit like that, so I think I'll put it on like that. 
And now I can glue my flower down. I wanna put it right there on top of that lace. And then if I need a little bit more glue, I can definitely do that. So I have a little bit hang off and I'll have that glue on there. So then that's gonna be my tab for May, right? Now that's looking really cute, but there are so many cute birds on this paper and I'm going to cut a couple of those out. I want those on here, but I want a may maypole and I really uh, love the thought of that. So I have a little straw over here and I thought I would put it on this side. I'm gonna wrap around it some of this lace that I have that has flowers on it. All right, to make my maypole, I measured my straw to make sure it fit on my page. I got this beautiful ribbon lace that was in my stash. I got it on clearance from one of the craft stores for $1.50, so you can see, good deal. Uh, and I had it for a while. So I'm gonna put some glue all around the top here. And I'm not using hot glue. I think this will hold up just fine. I'm gonna wrap it around this straw like that. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on one side to hold it. I think it's gonna be fine. Um, this is not gonna have weight on it, if you will. And I'm just gonna wrap this around. All right, now that you have, if you're doing this and you make a maypole for your page, you can see it's not gonna be too thick. And then you need some ribbon. So I've picked some pretty thin uh, quarter inch or eighth inch ribbon. All right, I wanna show you that I put a little dot of glue, cut a little bit of ribbon, put a little dot of glue as I laid each one of the pieces of ribbon on top of each other, and I'm going to tie a knot. Now this is a little bit tedious. I've got my straw here, you can see. Let's see, and I'm gonna take the ends of my ribbon, and I'm gonna put a little glue, and I'm gonna stuff them down in there. Do you see that? Okay. So I'm gonna put glue on the end of my ribbon, both sides, and it's just to keep it in there. And I'm gonna stuff my ribbon inside my straw, like that. I wanna make sure that I pull back up my lace and all my ribbons are coming out of my straw, right? Now I'm gonna trim these extra little ones off. But now my maypole has all its ribbons, right? All wrapped around it. So I'm gonna glue that down. After you've glued your maypole down, if that's what you're doing, I've got some little paper flower stickers from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put a few of those on the page. Let that glue on this right-hand side. I may just take them all the way down the side here. I like that. And it's pretty. Okay, so then you've got that added. Now, these streamers can hang off. You can trim them however you want to do. But on this side, I need to have a place for my journaling, my pictures, whatever I wanna put on that. Plus, I would like to put a couple of these birds up here if they're not too big, because these are kind of big birds. All right, to fit on the page diagonally here, you can see that'll fit just fine. So I've applied double stick tape. I cut my, my paper apply double stick tape, it's just a triangle as you can see. I added a little bit more of this lace that I put here and now I'm going to put it on the page and this will be uh, like a tuck spot for journaling cards and it brings in that beautiful bird paper. 
right here. And then you can tuck, let me just show you, you can take any kind of journaling card and tuck it in there and write on it for your, um, just like that. I just had those already. Okay, so we'll just put those there for now. But I am going to cut out a few of these birds and put them, carry them over into here, and then we'll finish this page. All right, I cut out a um, couple of the birds. They're so cute, and I did put a little of the uh, black dye ink around the edges, made a couple of tags to go in that pocket. And so now I'm going to put these, um, like this one, peeking in like that. I'm just gonna glue that down. So that is May. Now we're going to move to June. And our journal is getting so full. This is my June paper. I've already cut it out. As you know, we've done it for several pages now. I've already done my June and measured it really well. And now I'm going to adhere it to my pages. I found out where the fold is going to be for where my two envelopes come together. So I'm gonna glue that down. And then this one, it's always better to kind of let it hang off a little bit extra, and then you can always trim it. Or like in this one, I left it so that I could have extra journaling room and room for another pocket. You can see that is a little bit longer. And that's okay too. So you can choose how to do you how you want to do that. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to adhere my paper to my envelope. All right, now I want to show you something because there's really no mistakes when you're making a junk journal. Just want you to know that even if it doesn't look exactly like mine or someone else's, there's no mistakes. Right here you can see that I can see the back of the paper in front of me. I can cover that with ribbon. I can cover that with washi tape. I can cover it with a, a, another piece of paper for a tuck spot. I can cover that up. Now this one, you can see down here at the end, a little bit of the envelope is shining through. I can cut the envelope off and no one would ever know. I can cover it up. So however you want to do that. This one, this envelope on the left side is a little bit taller than this envelope on the right side. So you can see there is a little bit that can be trimmed off here. And I think I'm gonna solve that by making this and a pocket right here. So the way that you do that is, I'm gonna open this up and it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but right here where the spine would be or the center of my book, I'm just gonna do a snip, just a little snip. Now, right here where my envelope starts, I'm going to come in, I'm, I'm gonna show you right here. You can see where it glues together from the back to the front. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut all the way. And I'm going to make this envelope a pocket. So I'm gonna do this right here. You can just see, just cutting like about an eighth of an inch, maybe, I don't know. I don't know my measurements that well. Maybe an eighth, maybe a fourth. Okay, so now I've cut that off. And now I have a pocket right here already. A little pocket right there. Now, one thing that I like to do is if I'm gonna make that a pocket, I wanna know that it's a pocket. So I'm going to make, um, I'm gonna take a circle punch, but you could do it with your scissors. And I'm going to cut a little um, half circle out of it. Now I have my journal upside down. I have a one and a half inch punch for a circle. What I do is I turn it upside down and I will punch that out. <laughs> okay, I had to get it at an angle that I could do it. Now what's gonna happen is whenever I put paper on this side, it's going to cover that up or I can punch that out. Either way, and that works just fine. Next, I'm gonna show you uh, making a pocket. Now, this is just the same, same paper. I cut out a piece to be a pocket here. I want it to go to the about the center, 
and to the edge here. Now this paper goes a little beyond this one, this envelope here, as we noted. I am not sure if I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it just like I did on the other page and then just cover to here with the back side. And I think that's fine. But what I wanna show you about this pocket is we're gonna make a gusset. So you need a couple of inches strips that are the same height as your pocket. And a gusset is like an accordion and it allows your pocket to expand a little bit more than just up against the page with the, with the uh, you know, paper. I'm losing my words here. All right, so you have your inch paper and you fold it in half and you're gonna make a W. So you're gonna fold it in half like this. And then you want your design folded on the inside. And then you're gonna take your sides and you're gonna fold them back to the place of the fold, like this. So you're gonna do that on both sides. And now you have what we're gonna call your accordion or your gusset. And you're going to glue that to your folder, to your paper, and then we're gonna glue this down and your bottom, and that gives you that extra room. Now you're gonna put your adhesive on both sides of these folds. So now you have your W. Do you see that W? Okay, so now I'm gonna take my gussets and I'm going to adhere them to my pocket with the design facing out, okay? All right, so I've adhered it to my paper for my pocket here. You can see my design is facing out. My pocket is actually going in this way, and it's gonna go like that. Now, the only other thing that I need to do is put a piece of the double stick tape down here at the bottom of my pocket because that's gonna have to adhere to the paper as well. My envelope paper. Now, I'm gonna take this. I'm going to decide exactly where I want it because once I stick it, it is stuck, right? All right, now, work your way up. Remember, from your pockets, you just definitely want to do that. Well, at least I do. Now, your pocket is expandable. Is that the coolest thing? All right, and you did see why you want your design on the outside. So there's my pocket, and then I also have this big pocket here that I'm going to be able to put a long tag in. So if I wanted to, hope you guys are doing okay. Anyway, all right, so I'm gonna put this one on to be my label for June, and I'm gonna put it at the top. So I'm gonna just put June here in the middle and then I'm going to stick it right here on the top of my page. Now June has a lot of room to do all kinds of things with and you can add whatever it is that you would like for June, especially uh, with summer and different things that happen in the summer that you've done. Maybe you've done grilling or whatever. But let's go ahead and make a tag. All right, just say you had a page out of a dictionary or something like that. This is just a copy of one that I have. And you wanna dress it up for summer. Maybe you wanna pull out the page that has summer on it or June or something like that. I'm just gonna use what I have, right? That's what we do, we use what we have. So I'm gonna use this. Now I have this cute scatter that's from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just gonna glue some of this on. Like, look at these cute flamingos. I mean, seriously, they are just adorable. And so we'll just put a little glue on that and just stick them on 
so that there's some 3D. Then there's also the sun. So we'll just add a little, and these are not um, aged looking, but that's okay. Or you can do that. And I'm just gonna put a little few on here and just give it something that kind of stands out. Now on this side, you might wanna put, we might wanna make a tuck spot. And so that's what we're gonna do next, really quick. We're gonna make a tuck spot. And then we're gonna adhere some of the, some, um, flip-flops to it. Now, to make that tuck spot, I can do it in contrasting paper, or I could do it in the same paper that I already had. And I think I'll just do that. I'll just keep it the same paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this nine inch side, and I'm going to cut it out of here. And I'm going to cut it about two inches with my paper cutter here and I need it to be nine inches. Now I've cut out my little two inch rectangle. I'm going to adhere it here to the side with my double stick tape. So now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go a little bit over because remember that envelope was showing just a tad. So I'm gonna adhere that and now I have a tuck spot here where I can put that little Monopoly money where I won. So now that's June, and we're gonna quickly do July. Okay, I have cut my paper to fit here. Oh, there we go. And what I'm gonna do when I add it on, remember I have, oh, remember I have cut out for my pocket. I wanna make sure I don't put any glue in here on this paper. So I'm gonna have to be very careful when I adhere this paper together. I'm gonna go ahead and take this time card out so that I don't, you know, like accidentally glue it. And then I'm gonna glue this paper on. Go ahead and cut your paper out and get it ready and adhere it. All right, now I have my, my star paper adhered on for July. Now I have some red, white, and blue ribbon that I'm gonna put on the side here. And I just wanna accent the page with it. I'm not gonna use it for a tuck spot or anything, but it is going to cover this edge. So I do wanna cut it to be right. So I'm gonna cut a little bit above that just to make sure. <laughs> I always cut a little above. And I'm going to adhere that to my paper. Okay, as you can see here, my flip-flops are not wanting to stick and I glued them, but I'm holding it with this paper clip. I think doing three months together is really pressing my journal to dry well. Anyway, I cut another piece to be a belly band, but I do wanna show you, if you don't have everything you need, you can go to a flea market or a garage sale and find some really cool books that you could use and reuse, you know, the pages and things. So this book was one that I picked up to do a junk journal for a gentleman, and I really love it. It has some very cool pictures, some really neat things in it, and I could use some of these to make a journal uh, card, to decorate, make a pocket, like these cool uh, airplanes. These, these are cool pictures from the Korean War. I mean, just some really cool things that are different and no one else has. All right, so this is gonna be my journaling card that I'm gonna use on my page. I'm gonna use this little piece of ribbon to be my belly band on this side. And just going to see where it needs to go to be in the middle of the page. Let's make sure it's right. Okay, there we go. Got that in there. And then on this side, I'm, I'm not even gonna put a pocket. I'm just gonna put pictures or uh, paste whatever I want in there. You could take it and make it whatever you want. I don't have like anything right now that I wanna put on there, but this is for me to do my remembrance so I can add whatever it is that I want. Now, I do need to add my July tab to this page. So I'm gonna show you where I'll do that. And it's just gonna be simple. I'm just gonna take some of the same paper and I'm going to fold it in half 
and make a little tab a uh, tab for my page. All right. So we have May. Really cute. All right, we have June with the side tuck here, this pocket here that we made from the envelope, and then a pocket here that has a gusset to expand. I'm holding that on because we're pushing our day here. All right. And here is July. And I'm thinking I'm going to put like some lined paper and glue it down here. And then maybe some decorations for July. Then next we'll be doing August and September. So I hope you'll come back. And we do our the rest of our journal. Um, it's all coming together. It's looking great. And I'm so excited that you are on this journey for the 2020 Reflections journal with me. So thanks for watching.